Hello, my name is Rekha Ayodhi. I'm from Oracle product management team. Here I have a tutorial on installing Oracle Suva Suite for eBusiness Suite Integrated Suva Gateway or ISG. It is a precursor to tutorial on configuring eBusiness Suite ISG for SOAP services. Before starting Suva Suite installation, ensure that you have installed database and it is up and running. On a high level, the steps to install Sova Suite includes installing Fusion Middleware Infrastructure, Sova Suite, then creating database schemas and Sova Suite domain, and then at the end, starting the Sova servers. As mentioned in Sova Suite installation guide, let us create Oracle Base and inventory directories. The installers are downloaded to this location. Ensure to set display environment variable before installing Fusion Middleware infrastructure. Provide inventory directory path. Provide Oracle home location and click next. Installation of Fusion Middleware infrastructure is complete. Next, let's install Sova Suite. Ensure to select Sova Suite as installation type. After the prerequisite checks, you are able to start the installation. Installation of Sova Suite is complete. Next, let us set Java Home and Execute RCU to create database schemas. Provide database connection details and provide PDB service name. Ensure to select Sova Suite components and provide a new prefix like ISG. Define schema passwords. Now we can start creation of schemas. Schemas are created. As per Sova Suite installation guide, we need to install this patch before we proceed with creating the Sova domain. We will check the OPatch version and apply this patch. Let us navigate to Oracle Common Common Bin to initiate WebLogic domain creation process. Execute config script. Ensure to select create a new domain option and provide domain location. From the available product templates, select Oracle Sova Suite. Provide application location. 
Define credentials for admin account. I selected development domain mode and available JDK. Provide DB connection details for pluggable database along with schema information that we created some time back. Select all component data sources. In the advanced configuration, select admin server, node manager and topology. Ensure to provide listen address for admin server. Define node manager credentials. Similarly, define listen address and port for SOVA server. Define SOVA machine. Assign servers to SOVA machine. Click create to start SOVA domain creation process. Weblogic domain for SOVA suite is created. Here you can see the admin server URL as well. Next, let us navigate to domain home and start Weblogic server. Once it is up and running, we can open and access Weblogic admin console. Login using the Weblogic admin credentials which we defined in the process. I will navigate to SOVA machine and change the node manager type to plain. I will stop Weblogic admin server. Also, I will disable secure listener option in node manager properties file. Start node manager. Now I will start Weblogic admin server so that these changes are reflected. Now I will check from admin console if the node manager is reachable. It is reachable. So I will start SOVA manage server from console. Now it is in running state. With this, the tutorial on installing SOVA suite for ABS ISG comes to an end. Hope you find it useful. Thank you.